Why did the flower need to take a bath? Probably because she smells. And this is balloon animal lesson number 32. Hello, Balloon World. I'm your balloon twister, Michael Floyd. And today I want to teach you how to make a two balloon flower bracelet. This is a really cool design. It's very versatile, even when you don't necessarily want a flower bracelet, but I'll get to that later. First, let me show you how to make it. For the flower bracelet, you'll need two 260s. I'll be using a reddish pink balloon for the flower and a pinkish pink balloon for the band that goes around my wrist. Inflate the one you want for the flower, about halfway. Let some air out so it's soft. Now we start by making a small flower petal that's really soft. Give it a nice squeeze to make sure it's really soft. And we just want a small one because we're gonna try to get six flower petals in there. The bigger the flower petal and the more full of air they are, the fewer flower petals you can get in and you want as many petals as you want. I like six, some people will even put seven, but if you get five, that's okay. But four, you try for five. So we have one small flower petal. You'll notice it is about as tall as it is wide, and that's a good size. Now we do that again by folding this over and squeezing a bunch and then twisting it to the same size. It's important that you don't let the air get back in. This one, the air got back in, so I have to squeeze it again and then squeeze it while it's still soft. I got two, I only need four more. That's petal number three. Fold it over, give it a couple of squeezes and twist. Now, if these are all not the same size, that's okay. As long as they're close, that's what's important. Four. Petal number five. And now, petal number six. There we go. Now, I don't need this piece, but I'm gonna twist it in there a couple of times just to make sure it's not gonna come undone on me. And there we have six flower petals. This part here I don't need, so I'm gonna twist that up and break it off. I'm gonna take that slack and I'm gonna wrap it in there nice and tight. That way it doesn't show. And there we have our flower bulb. Now for the band. Get your other balloon for the band. You're gonna put just a little puff of air in it. You don't even need much at all. You can even let some out. You just need a little bit. Go ahead and tie it, but make sure you have a little bit of slack there. Take that slack, wrap it into the flower petal, like so. Take the other end, wrap it in also. This should create like a very round kind of pinch twist right there in the middle for the center of the flower. Now we have this part here to use as our band. What I like to do is take the end and wrap it in. And that way I have it, nice big loop, big enough for an adult. But if you try to put this on a little small child's wrist, it'll be too big. So then what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll wrap it in some more, eating up some of that slack. But there we go. Really fast, two balloon, flower bracelet. Ain't it adorable? But wait, there's more. I've already prepared a green flower petal bracelet, but I, you notice there's no bubble here in the middle. Instead, what I have is a little bit of extra slack sticking out from the top. I'm gonna use a flower petal bracelet as a stand for another balloon creation, a very simple one balloon dog. By taking the dog, and taking the slack and working it through the legs. Slack through the legs. And then back into the flower petals. I use the flower petals as like a grass stand for the dog. Now, what was a very simple one balloon dog becomes a very fancy balloon dog bracelet. You can dress up any simple balloon animal this way and make them wearables. Ain't that cool? What do you think, little balloon dog? Did they enjoy the video? Then they should probably click like down below. What was that, balloon dog? You want more balloon videos? Well, then you should subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash balloon animals. What's that, balloon dog? You have a question? No, a comment. 
No, you have an idea for a balloon animal? Well, then you should let me know by putting it in the comments below. What was that, Balloon Dog? When do new videos get posted? New videos are posted every Monday. As always, he's Balloon Dog, and I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. For more balloon twisting information, go to balloon-animals.com. What's that, Balloon Dog? Little Timmy fell down a well?